this, we will solve some problem. Let me have a very interesting problem that you can take this problem. In a specific application, a stack shown below, this is a stack, this that is 300 millimeter wide and 100 millimeter deep. This is 300 millimeter wide, it is a long one, cut shown a particular section and 100 millimeter deep. Contains 60 pins, these are the pins. Five are shown, that means there are a number of pins, this is a very big size, 60 pins. Each of length L, 12 millimeter, this is the length of the pin, this is 12 millimeter. And this is the thickness of the stack plate. This is 1 millimeter, 1 millimeter, that is why this is 14 millimeter. This is the length of this. 60 pins, each of length 12 millimeter. The entire stack is made of aluminum, which is everywhere 1.0 millimeter thick. That means this one is 1.0 millimeter, this one. This was not shown in dimension, this is written. The temperature limitations associated with electrical component joined to opposite plate, that means this plate, this side of the plate dictate the maximum allowable plate temperature of 400 K. That means this plate should not be at a temperature above 400 K. The electronic components will be damaged. And T L is 350 K. This side, the plate is kept at 300, 350 K by an arrangement of air with a T infinity and a heat transfer coefficient. We are not much bothered on this side because the problem is prescribed by fixing the 350K this temperature. Determine the rate of heat loss from the plate at 400K. That means, what is the rate of heat loss from the plate at 400K? What are the value given? H is 150 watt per meter square K. T infinity is 300 K. These are the value given. H is 150 watt per meter square K, 300 K. Aluminium thermal conductivity, that means the material thermal conductivity, 230 watt per meter K. This is precisely the problem. So, we have to find out the heat transfer from the plate. Now, heat transfer from the plate is due to the heat transfer from the fins, which is the heat transfer from this area of the bases where the fins are attached, plus the heat transfer from the unfinned portion of the base, plus the heat transfer from the top surface of the plate. Okay, that you have to recognize to solve this problem. Problem is very simple, but one thing this type of problem in examination, if it comes, we will give you the formula. Here, we have to use this heat transfer from the pin, where the pin is fixed at two temperatures. That means, this you consider as base temperature of 400 K. And if you consider the pin of a length L, which is given as, what is the length? 12 millimeter. The other end is, three, what is the temperature? Other end, 300 K. That means, fixed temperature at the end. No question of mugging the formula, but the formula will be provided. Or even a big problem, you may be told that you derive this formula. That means, you start with the governing differential equation. Theta is C1 e to the power mx plus C2 e to the power minus mx by control volume energy balance. Then, theta b is C1 plus C2 at x is equal to 0. Then, theta l is C1 e to the power ml plus e to the power minus ml. From there, you can also uh, derive, but if teacher is relatively better, he will not ask that routine derivation because it is tedious. He will tell use this formula for thin switch temperature prescribed at two end, base temperature and other end. So, problem boils down to that. So, now let me solve this problem.
this is 100 millimeters Let us have this tank. This is the tank. Now here, this is the flow of air. Now, this is the geometry 100 millimeter depth, 300 millimeter width. This is continued, this is a cut section. Number of pin 60, pin length L. And this is a air flowing through this, which gives the convective heat transfer coefficient, which takes the heat from the lateral surface of the pin. This is the problem. Now, let me First, write the this thing. This is the plate. Plate temperature, let we write is at TB, base temperature, that plate this is the temperature T L, T L is 300 K and T B is 400 K, 400 K and T infinity that is the surrounding fluid is at T infinity is what? T infinity 300 K, T L is not 300 K, 350 K, sorry. 350k and this is 300k. Now, let us write the equation, uh, the expression for Q plate. Q plate is what? Q plate is first two pins. Number of pins, there are 60 pins. Identical pins, 60 identical pins. Hey, if pin efficiency could have been given, I could have been happiest man. Then we could have found out that its surface area times H times T B minus T infinity times the efficiency. But it is not given. That means either I have to mark up that formula uh, or I have to derive. Marking means what? Now it is no teacher did that that you have to mug up and you just write that thing. However, if it is given, then it is good, but it is a tedious calculation. Let me see, do not mind. That formula is per pin root over H P K, all the nomenclature as the known to us as they are conventional thermal conductivity, cross sectional area, perimeter, heat transfer coefficient into theta B, bap re bap. Then it is cos hyperbolic ML minus theta L by theta B with all nomenclature known to us divided by sin hyperbolic sin hyperbolic ML. So, this is the expression of heat transfer when theta B theta L are fixed for a pin 
and number of pin 60. This is the heat transfer from the pin surface. Then plus heat transfer from the unpinned surface. What is the unpinned surface? That area is what? Unpinned surface is 0.1 into 0.3. Now, I will put this value afterwards. Now, unpinned surface, we write this way. A, F, A, unpinned surface. Unpinned. A, unpinned. That I will find out afterwards. Into A, H, into, there is no problem. T, B minus T, infinity, right? Theta, B. T B minus T infinity, write theta B simply, write simply theta B. If any problem, tell me. Then A plate, A plate is very simple problem, A is theta B. This is only a tedious calculation, nothing else is there. Now you write down the values. H is what? H is 150 watt per meter square k. P is what? Perimeter. Tell me what is P? P is the perimeter. That means this way 100 plus that means 0 0.1 plus 0 0.001 into 2. This is almost equal to 0 0.2 meter perimeter perimeter is what this this side you understand the perimeter that means this plus this okay perimeter is all right lateral surface depth is 100 then 1 millimeter clear okay this is the pin perimeter. Now, what we require k? k is what? What is k? 230 watt per meter. What is cross-sectional area? A of the pin is 0 0.001 into 0 0.1. is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. H, P, K, A, everything is there. Now, A unpinned. A unpinned. What is A unpinned? A unpinned equals to 0 0.3 into 0 0.1. minus 16 to 10 to the power minus 4. This is very simple. Meter square. Clear? That means this is the unpinned portion, this portion. Plate area A plate is 0.3 into 0.1 meter square. That means 0 0.03. Clear? This is the plate area, 300 millimeter into 100 millimeter. Unpin portion, this area minus the cross-sectional area of each pin times 60, 60 times. That's all. Okay. So, pin problem, I am telling you, are all direct applications of the equations that we have developed. But, you do not have to remember the equations. You will only derive the equations and use it. This problem is clear. Now, if you put all the values in the proper unit, then you will see that the order is like this. This value comes out to be I tell you, 6631 watt. 
and pin portion heat transfer is 375 watt 375 watt and the top surface of the plate 450 watt this plate means top surface a plate means this is top surface this is top surface this a means the top surface a plate is the top surface that means from here now one thing which i like to mention a comment that you see most of the heat transfer takes place through the pin is increase by an order of magnitude this is because of what a huge surface area provided by the 60 pin well clear hello clearly understood yes i cannot hear you can you come here and tell me and bottom surface this is the bottom surface and pin portion only heat transfer from this plate this is the bottom surface this is the bottom surface this this plate this plate this is not required the question is that what is the heat transfer from this top plate this is not required this the entire stack this this part of the stack is not that is not required yes correct you are interested in the entire system heat transfer right? but this is not this is asked this is not asked for it is only from the top plate okay so top plate at the two surfaces bottom surface through fins and unfin and you see through fins and unfin the ratio more than an order of magnitude okay okay which one which side which side no no side is insulated these lateral surfaces these surfaces all these surfaces of the pin they transfer heat to the air that that is the convective heat loss from the side that takes care by this formula pin heat transfer from the plate top 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 surface of the plate this surface this end surface of the plate from the end surface of the plate oh that is neglected end effects are neglected he is telling that end surface of the plate that means 100 millimeter into 1 millimeter that cross sectional area very good that is neglected a good question that is neglected that is not taken very good if you take it extra credit good by neglecting that that means this faces he is good that means from these exposed faces this face and this face which has a cross sectional area of 100 millimeter into 1 millimeter h times the tb minus t infinity good no that is neglected okay any other question now i will show you some other problem consider a stainless steel spoon partially immersed in boiling water at 100 degrees celsius slowly you may write it in your own language time is less so all the words cannot be written or you can in a kitchen at 30 degrees celsius now immediately you compile in your own language 100 degrees the base temperature and 30 degrees the kitchen temperature means surrounding fluid t infinity tv the handle of the spoon has a cross section of 2 millimeter into 12 millimeter oh yeah 2 into 12 24 millimeter square is a and extends 180 millimeter in the air that is length of the pin from the free surface of water the spoon is extending 180 millimeter in the air from the free surface of water that means the length of the pin if the heat transfer coefficient at the exposed surfaces of the spoon handle is 20 watt per meter square k that means in our language a so immediately compile h is 20 watt per meter square k determine the temperature difference across the exposed surface of the spoon handle that means tb minus tl 
set any assumptions required. So can you tell me this is a thin problem, immediately you compile T V, T infinity, cross sectional area, length. So what is the boundary condition, which formula I will use or which formula I will derive? Theta is T1 e to the power mx plus e to the power minus mx. I have one boundary condition known that 100 degree Celsius is the T B. What is that boundary condition? What does it say? Huh? H case 3, very good. Speak loudly. Case 3, that means it is a practical case. No insulation is there. Oh God. No insulation is there. This is not very infinitely long. End temperature is not given. That means there is a convective heat loss at the end. So that end, that is tip, thin tip has a convective heat loss. So case C, you will derive the equation. We have to derive the equation and use it and get it done. That's all. Another problem. So. I am not solving these problems because these are only applications of our results. Now another problem. Okay. One end of a, these are, this is one very popular type of problem. Most of the books have this problem. One end of a point 3 meter long steel rod, 20 watt per meter k, this is usually the thermal conductivity of steel is connected to a wall at 240 degree Celsius, while the other end is connected to a wall that is maintained at 90 degree Celsius. Air is blown across the rod so that a heat transfer coefficient of 17 watt per meter square k is maintained over the entire surface. If the diameter of the rod is 60 millimeter, and the temperature of the air is 40 degrees Celsius, what is the net rate of heat loss to the air? That means thin with fixed end temperature. Okay, these are the representative thin problems. All right? Okay? So, before concluding the session, a generalized formula summing up my lecture about one dimensional steady heat conduction with generation of heat, thermal energy without generation of thermal energy cylindrical spherical or plane wall and also fin with lateral convection can be summed up like that if you consider a variable area wall and take this as the direction of heat flow x, which may be x, which may be r, whatever may be, I am denoting it as x, where the heat flux is there, which may not be same at all sections. If heat generation is there, we cannot say so. If the lateral convection is there, we cannot say so, that we have seen. Now, let us consider a case that there is lateral convection. I take an element at a distance x with a thickness delta x and I denote qx as the heat coming into this space with the in accordance with this nomenclature x and q x plus delta x is the heat going out and this wall generates heat which is specified by heat generation per unit volume q g at a point which is a function of x in general or may be constant whatever may be q g may be a function of x may be constant may be a function of t also an implicitly function of x because t is a function of x. That means Qg may vary with x and t. 
and also there is the convective heat transfer as I have shown you Q convection from the lateral surface. Now, if I have to write the energy balance, then I can write that Q x plus del x which is coming out from this section is equal to Q x plus Q g into the area A x. A x is the area here which is a function of x that is why I am writing a x into delta x and at the same time it continuously convex heat just like leaking pipe which is very similar to fluid flow to a pipe where the surfaces are perforated as the fluid is flowing the water is leaking and ultimately the entire water is drained out at the end no fluid is coming no liquid is coming this type of problem is interesting that the from lateral surface the liquid is drained out similarly the heat is being also convected out minus now this convective heat transfer to take care of h is specified t infinity is specified and i use a nomenclature perimeter p so that p delta x is my area and at that location if the temperature is t at x then this will be t minus t infinity that means q x plus del x is q x coming plus this is generating generation of energy minus the convection clear now q x plus del x minus i take it in the this side or i take this side that q x minus q x plus del x plus q g a x del x minus h p p minus p infinity del x is 0. Now, q x minus q x plus delta x we have done several times expanding this in Taylor series and neglecting the higher order terms and then substituting the Fourier heat conduction equation q x is minus k x d t d x k x a x d t d x q x plus del x is q x plus d d x of q x del x that means it will be minus d d x of q x del x and that will be minus minus plus that means d d x of k a x d t d x del x plus q g a x del x minus h p p minus p infinity del x is 0. Clear? Or we can write again this thing that d d x of k a x d t d x plus q g a x minus h p p minus p infinity is 0 and this is precisely the expression for one dimensional heat conduction with generation of thermal energy and lateral convection heat is going out laterally. Now, here in a plane geometry now in cylindrical coordinate a x is a r x is r cylindrical rod cylindrical wall a x is twice pi r l flowing in the r direction in a spherical coordinate x is r and a r will be 4 pi r square clear now if we consider that there is no thermal energy generation this is the fin problem usually fins no thermal energy is generated if you do not allow the leaking of heat laterally I told you a simulation liquid is flowing through a pipe if perforation is there at the surface all liquids will be 
exempt. That means there is no lateral convection which we discussed earlier than this plus this is equal to zero. And if you take no heat generation, this part will be zero. If we take thermal conductivity constant, this will come out. And if we take Ax is constant, that is happening only in plain area, plain surface with the same cross sectional area, then the most simple case is ddx of dt dx0. That means we have a linear temperature profile. Okay, so this expression gives you, or if you write this in terms of qx, ddx of qx, then you get the expression for that means another version of this is qx plus qg ax variable area that means this is the most general expression these two are the same equation in terms of the total heat transfer rate in terms of the temperature you can get a generalized expression for heat transfer rate and temperature distribution in any steady one dimensional flow with or without thermal energy generation, with or without convection from the lateral surface. So, fin is one application of the one dimensional steady state heat conduction problem that extended surface, where one dimensional heat conduction is associated with lateral convection and this is taken care of in the simple energy balance. All these things. Oh, very good. Minus QA. Nice, nice, very good. Well. Any question? So, with this derivation, this is the summary of all my lectures in steady state one dimensional heat conduct application is the extended surface spin. Any question ask? At the end of the entire conduction chapter, we will have one session for tutorial. Though I have solved number of problems in the class while taking this theory, few more problems will be solved. Teaching assistants will be there. They will solve problems, we will be there also. Any question? Before conclusion, I tell you that next Plus, we will discuss two dimensional steady state heat conduction and that will be taken by Professor Sumon Chakraborty.